moment of weakness, a vain hope that he might accept me as his father. He thinks I can't read or write, but the time, uh, but the time I spent with his mother after uh, after the king's sacrifice was productive in many ways. I am not an ignorant man. It was circumstance that laid down the path of my life, and I had no need for quill during those early years. I, uh, will, I will continue to write even as the, the shadow grows closer. I think I smell smoke. No, it's something else. What's happening? Is it a dream or another nightmare? It's not the Reaper after all, but a vision of my king. He's standing over the body of an abomination, a demon of the abyss, and it looks as though they have just done battle. He raises his clenched fists above his head and screams his victory to the cursed gods as if he was becoming one of them. The skies flash red, burning with his rage, and thunder rolls away over the horizon. The generals circle him, standing silently. The king Stochan touches each on the cheek, almost fondly, and I sense something change in them. Lightning splits the sky, but I can't tell what is different. Except that they seem to have grown. Stochan is holding what looks like a dagger up to the light. And I don't know why, but for a moment it reminds me of a key. But for what? Why would I think that? No matter, I have to finish this soon. Miriam is standing with her back arched. And arms outstretched as Stochan plunges the dagger into her chest. I can't take my eyes away from the sight. Although there is no blood spr uh, spurt from the wound, incredible. A spiritual double of the blade remains behind as he draws it from her heart and places it in her hand, holding her fingers over the hilt. The light catches it, and I can see it is unblemished, an, ex an, equi an exquisite thing. It is too beautiful to be one of a kind. I wonder if it is. There is no more. My sight is fading. I almost drop the quill, and a splash of ink drops onto the parchment. It's spreading and growing. How can this be? It's filling the room like a smothering cloak, and my skin burns. Yes, I am here, waiting for you. I'm not afraid. Not here. <laughs> anyway. long hallway, that's for sure. Hi, Cursed Soldier. Okay, are you not doing your thing again? No, you're doing it. Okay, good. stuff. Cool. I'm gonna go really, really fast. I'm gonna go and use ease the ease the burden. I'm gonna go with aquatic steps, even though that doesn't really do anything here. This, which is gonna make me go really, really fast. Look at that speed! Hell cursed knight! Where'd you go? Don't do that. Don't think you can get away from me, cursed knight! Why do you have scamp skin? I need a key. Alright. Way too fast. What's your, what's your speed stat right now? Just by this alone. <laughs> 315. That's actually very close to what our speed would be if we didn't have any of our... If I didn't nerf it. Because our speed was like, what, 325, I think? I didn't have anything. Alright. Alright, 
All right, well, I can stop trying to avoid the book now. All right. All right, the King's Axeman. Uh, how many pages is it? I am not freaking reading that now. All right, here you go. You can read it yourself. I'm not reading that right now. It appears the book was written by someone who says he was the executioner of a king named Stochan, who was described as a tyrant and sadist. His people uh, overthrew him and seized his throne, and he fled, fearing for his life. He later sacrificed himself to a demon god of the abyss called Azra Kimora. His four generals, Razin, Clathrin, Swartin, and Miriam, forever loyal, followed their king into the demon's lair. I wonder if this is the same Miriam from Rose's note. Yeah, I wonder too. Oh, hi there, buddy. You look like you want a friend. Oh. I'll take that. What's this? Ooh. Very cool. What the? Uh, uh-huh, okay, I mean, if you say so. Well, it's probably over here, right? Could I, like, bug something out when I did that or something like that? I'm guessing he's supposed to have something for me, or maybe I killed him too fast? I don't know. Anyway. If I am supposed to have an item, I'll I'll know that I, 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 I messed up. I killed him too fast. Never heard that being an excuse, though, but hey, that's fine. I'm trying to follow where you're supposed to jump down kind of thing, but I'm trying to skip them as well because we have no fall damage with the armor. Because my acrobatics is at 100. And so my armor just prevents me from taking fall damage if I, my acrobatics is at 100. Hi, everybody! Oh, I hate the speed of this thing, though. Where's the rake when you need it? So at least it makes sense to have this slow speed. You know what? We have the rake. So use it. I don't need twisted lights damage. I have this. I have the rake damage. Legion shield, cool. Actually, you know what? For testing purposes, I want to find something out. So. Twisted Light and the Rake have both the same triggers, though. When you're in combat, they boost up your damage. So here is my question. So Rake increases your damage by double... By pretty much have double what the Twisted Light does. But if I equip Twisted Light after I get that damage boost, does it decrease it? I knew it! I had a feeling it didn't do it. And then now what? I have the permanent I have a permanent bonus? I do. Oh, that is so I'm not grabbing that. I am not grabbing that. Nope, nope, nope. We're gonna stay on the path. 
I think we can just go follow the quest marker. That will lead you to victory. I don't care about what you're doing, buddy. You're 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 just a you're just a priest. You're just a cursed priest. Wait, hang on a second, hang on a second. So if I equip the rake again. Okay. Did I find an exploit by accident? I always do this. I always find one thing that breaks and I can exploit it for something. Okay, so now. Okay, switch weapons. Okay, so I did find an exploit. Okay, so I gotta I gotta remember that. Okay, so in combat. What the Hi. Did you know that I can instant kill things now? <laughs> you can't you can't deal with this nonsense. I can't even deal with this nonsense. I don't think any NPC can deal with my nonsense right now. I'd be surprised if there was actually an NPC that could deal with my instant kill nonsense for for this. Stairs? Is this where I need to go? Okay. Hi. Oh, bye. I'll take the gold. Ooh, stuff. I'll take that. I'll take this as well. I don't really care about you guys. You guys can just go... Yay. Light of fate. Alright, we're going back to the abyss. Yeah, so this is where you need to go. But there's like a lot of enemies, I think, down here. So it's going to take a little bit to get around. Cool story, bro. Anyway. Two shot an abyss dragon by tapping. That's incredible. You know what? I'm done with this. Let's just get up here. Hi, buddy. still have your thing, okay. Oh, you have potions here. Nice. Alright, Swarton. Are you Miriam? One of you has got to be Miriam. Yeah, okay. Hang on a second. Hang on a second, guys. One of you needs to get paralyzed. Yep. You two can be paralyzed. Yeah, I want you guys to be up here, though. Trying to loot the shield, though. Do you have anything in here? You have your heart. That's pretty cool, I guess. Soul Keeper. I've got the blade key. I will not hold the blade key. It's time to leave this place. It sure is, buddy. Alright, well, I'm just gonna leave now. Aha! There we go. Perfect. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. I found the second portal. Goodbye. Aha! I've now left to the Valus Mountains. I'm gonna have to read that giant book though. It's gonna take forever. At last, I'm back in Tamriel. As I hold the keys in my hands, they turn to dust and trickle through my fingers. I have a feeling that 
I have a feeling this nightmare isn't over and that the king called Stochan is not truly dead. Well. Cool. Anyway. Alright, so. Yeah, so just uh, so after I'm uh, so after I'm done killing that abyss god kind of thing, follow my path and you'll pretty much reach there. Uh, very interesting, but you could definitely explore there. I think there's just more like things you can sort of like. How do you want to? How do I want to word it? Like you can, there's definitely a lot more loot you can get a hold of. You can probably earn more gold than I did, kind of thing. Because even 10k is nothing to sort of sneeze at. That's actually really good. That's still really good. So the fact that I could still beat the the mod, despite the fact that I think that what's supposed to happen is the guy was supposed to follow you there. Hang on. As soon as my walkthrough decides to actually move. It, it, it moved up, but it's not going to move down. Okay, where is the sweet spot here? Come on. I don't know why Oblivion does this. Or why this does this. Anyway. Uh, let's see here. Alright, so... Yeah, supplies. Do not bother trying to kill the gods of the abyss, as they are almost immortal. You pretty much should just say they are immortal, because they go unconscious. Anyway, uh, they won't bother you unless you get too close. There's the path to follow. Continue past the dead tree until you get to a small depression. See, I don't know what that means. Maybe it's because I know what depression is, and so, like, or have, like, I have a definition of depression, and so, like, when you say depression, it, it confuses me, because I think of, like, like, I don't want to do this kind of thing, like, that kind of depression. Maybe it's a different form of depression. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, go up the slope, and you'll see some ruins, probably the portal that I went there. As you get closer, you'll see the next portal. Get there quickly. Uh, exit onto the platform. You'll see steps going into the distance to the left. Follow them and don't fall. Certain death. Uh, here you'll find an altar with the blade key. Take it. That's the one that we grabbed. Uh, yeah, let me just go uh, put all this stuff in here. 